Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to Visual Basic .net tutorial. Today we are talking about the do loop, okay, and see how it differs from the standard for loop. And also we are going to write or uh, check a written program uh, about bubble sort, just to demonstrate how uh, the do loop is useful in some cases uh, and uh, how it could replace the for loop. Okay. So first of all, we have this uh, very simple Windows application. We have in this box here two buttons. The first one counting from one to ten, adding the items into the list box. Second one is the same. The only difference is the type of loop that we are using. So let's check the code. And the for loop, as you know, you define only a variable. Okay, you will uh, write the for and next. The statements in between will be repeated okay and the counter starts from this point and ends at this point okay you don't have to worry about incrementing the variable you don't have to worry about uh, checking when the loop ends and stuff like that you just specify from and to and that's it okay so let's demonstrate the for loop first okay we run this program we hit the count and we can see the 10 values now the second part which is the do loop okay uh, it's very similar to the for loop in that it, it have a starting point and ending point however instead of for you are writing do and it the loop ends with the word loop okay keyword loop okay now uh, the difference is the stop condition must be specified explicitly here we write the stop condition do this loop until i equals 11 okay uh, while in the for loop you don't specify that okay the second difference is you must increase the the counter yourself here you don't have to increase it it will increase automatically here now you have to do it yourself otherwise you won't get any result okay or you will have some kind of error so let's try this out okay now uh, I'm counting here from 1 to 10. No problem. It works perfectly fine. Now uh, let's do some changes to the code here. Here we place the, the condition we wrote until we can write while. And now the meaning changes. So while i is 11, keep yourself inside the loop. Okay, of course i will be one so this won't get executed at all so now if we run the code you see it does not execute to fix that you will have to change this condition so while r, uh, i is smaller than 11 you should execute the code okay so now we run this hit this one it's working fine okay this is first modification second thing is where to place the code uh, sorry where to place the condition the condition could be here or could be here okay so uh, we are making it look like this okay now this will keep looping I didn't change the condition but check this very carefully when I press the code here okay it's working perfectly fine no problem right okay now uh, I am changing this like this. Uh, sorry. This one looks like it works exactly like for loop. Let's say we start from 100. Okay, ending with 10. And we are eliminating writing the value step. Minus 1 here. Okay, we want to start from 100, ending with the smaller value. And the for loop, this won't do anything. This this will not work at all. Okay. In the do loop, it should behave the same way. So now, if we run, this one doesn't give us any result, while this one gives us at least one result. Okay. So the reason for that, if you place the condition in the end of the loop, the loop is executed first, then the condition is checked okay however if you move the condition here okay 
it will work differently it will check first and then it will execute the code and this is how actually the for loop works it will check first then execute the code okay now if we run this one no result this one no result okay so uh in some cases in very few cases it won't uh, if you try to uh, use the do loop like the, the for loop it might not work perfectly the same way okay now let's check something else what happens if you forget to put the condition okay now I'm forgetting the condition here I'm running the code okay so I press this one and it seems that I don't see anything well uh, actually what happening is uh, what is happening is it's keep executing as you can see now you see the value of i is 29,431 and it keep counting and the reason for that is there is no condition that tells me when should I stop okay so you must be very careful you must uh, specify when you should stop okay otherwise you'll get an infinite loop this is one of the cases okay and the for loop there is no such thing there's a starting point and ending point so usually usually if everything else is correct uh, you should uh, the code should not run into infinite loop okay now what happens if you forget to change the value of the counter okay so let's see here okay I press this one and also it seems like I'm um, uh, sorry uh, gosh sorry let me just add this one here start to go on okay now let's see what happens if I forget to yeah so this is another infinite loop and what's happening here let me show you uh, 11 now the value of I is kept one while the counters never increase because this is not like the for loop that automatically increase your counter okay so you might want to also to check this one okay okay so this is basically how the do loop works okay so uh, just to uh, uh, to review what we have just said uh, the loop starts with do it ends with the word loop you can place a condition either in the top uh, near the do part or near the the loop part and the reason you might want to do that is uh, very simple uh, if you want the check to be made first before entering the loop uh, you will put it in here okay otherwise you can put it down here and in this case the loop could be executed at, uh, at least once okay now uh, one last uh, uh, one last thing is that uh, you can the condition could be loop while or loop until and of course the meaning would change according to the keyword you are writing the loop while means you are uh, you are keeping executing the loop as long as the condition is true and loop until it means stop executing the loop as soon as the uh, condition is met okay so uh, it's very, very flexible and very powerful tool